Hi everyone, this is Marisha Trembetska for this week's Love Your Creativity and Make Money podcast. And it's all about the rule of thirds. Now, I was listening to an Olympia talk about her training and she had said that one of the things that she felt she'd heard was most useful from one of her coaches was this idea of the rule of thirds. That a third of the time when you start to train, you're going to feel amazing. Training's easy, you seem to be pushing yourself A third of the time, it's kind of okay, you've turned up, you've done your thing. But a third of the time, it's going to hurt. The pain barrier seems much nearer than normal. Maybe you can't even be able to get yourself to the gym, but you have to if you're an Olympiad, right? But it's this mental expectation that you're not always going to feel amazing. Now, obviously, world-class athletes train like to the level that most of us creatives will never do. I, I know these single exceptions, probably ballet dancers and dancers. But I know certainly as an actor that you can kind of get away with less training as a musician and a vocalist. I've done a lot of training in the past, but I can't argue I've worked as hard as an Olympiad. I'm not going to pretend. Although some some far more world class (laughs) singers than I can definitely can. We all know that we have to do the training. We all know we have to turn up. But it's like we're like we need to feel great. I want to feel great when I do my singing practice every day. I want to feel like, oh, I've really worked hard. And I, oh, that was a bit pointless. Or what's the point? So have a think about this rule of thirds for yourself, accepting that actually you're not always going to feel like turning up. That in fact, a third of the time you're going to get up and go, no, I'm not doing this today. Or no, I'm not going to get to the gym. Or I'm not going to pick my guitar up. Or no, I'm not going to work on my program my script my novel my album but actually we all know once you get your ass sat down or stood up with the instrument or whatever your project is and you start going you you kind of fall into it and sometimes even the work is hard you know sometimes the rule of thirds is about starting and some of it sometimes it's about being in the work going this is too hard or i can't i don't know what to do i can't solve this character arc i've i've learned how to forget to sing to draw to create but then other times you're like, OK, let's start. And you you have to have expectations that will, will be OK. Now, we can argue that the big goals are easier. I guess if you're an Olympiad waiting to performing, like a month is a lot easier than you're not performing in six months. They all had to keep going through, through mm-hmm. COVID and training. And there's my phone zipping. This is, of course, a live um, episode. So I think it is about mentally... Stop harassing yourself, hurting yourself, going, oh, I'm so lazy. Oh, I can't be bothered. Just accept a third of the time it's going to be really hard to start, but start anyway. Just accept that a third of the time when you do start, it's going to be hard or you feel like you haven't done. Now, what you need to do. Now, there are obviously things you can help. Um, I just recently, well, today I had to finish a song because someone had asked me to write something for them. So I wrote the kind of lyric and the vocal line. And then, of course, today they want to hear it and so I had to grab the guitar and pin it down with some chords and my guitar playing is getting worse not better because I'm rarely practicing the voice is still relatively fine because I practice all the time and I've done a lot more of it over the decades but once I started I was fine and then there's that joy of oh I have written something oh I have finished something so setting yourself a short-term deadline or getting somebody else to set one you know an external deadline you have to perform at x you have to do y can really help push through but Maybe just going, the rule of thirds, today I feel amazing, tomorrow I might feel like hell, but I'm still going to move forward. Because we can, guilt and frustration and self-frustration can really get in the way of our own work. And we all know it's hard enough out there trying to make a career as a creative without fighting ourselves first. So more self-love, more acceptance, rule of thirds. And you can even go, oh, today was my, my bad day. And oh, today's my good day. And tomorrow's my glorious day. Okay, just keep on doing the work. Okay, lovelies, I have very nearly finished my programme. I'm just doing the final, final edit. It's come together. It's changed direction 75 times. It is definitely coming out before Christmas. I'm just proud. I've determined that there's no way I'm going into 2022 without releasing it. I almost don't care if anyone buys it, although it's full of... I know my very best of 20 years of being a a working creative financial tips, practical tips, psychological tips. So I absolutely have got no issue with what the what I'm giving to you. But it's almost beyond. I'm not worried about who's going to buy it right now. I just want to get the work done out of the way. It's going to happen. I'm making myself rule of thirds nonetheless. 
So if I feel good about something or bad, I'm still going forward. So there we are. So have a wonderful week, everyone. I'll be back next week. And uh, rule of thirds, if you need some more peps, I've got lots of other episodes back here you can have a listen to on various aspects. So be well, uh, go out, create, and uh, yeah, maybe go and find yourself uh, an extra little creative job between now and, and Christmas. Maybe get yourself hired to write a song for someone for Christmas or a little extra gig or do a video or whatever it is you do or maybe do a line of Christmas cards or Christmas songs. Maybe think outside the box about what you can do. I'll talk about that more next week. Okay, lovelies, be well. I am Marisha Trembetska and this was my Love Your Creativity and Make Money podcast. Bye.